Greetings for everyone. Today I'll talk about the uh, hypertensive complications during pregnancy. So here we go. Hypertension is never normal during pregnancy. Uh, contrary blood pressure during pregnancy decreased by 50 or 20 units. Why decrease? Because uh, uh, circulating blood volume, especially plasma, increases uh, like uh, 1.5 or double and uh, occur a dilation of peripheral vessel, vessel dilation uh, because of increasing flow to the fetus and uh, how to understand better uh, increased blood pressure and how to place correctly the disease it depends on a time of appearing and, um, and additional symptoms or laboratory findings so let's start with gestational hypertension gestational hypertension appear during pregnancy gestation during pregnancy and is considered if appear after 20 weeks of gestation so uh, chronic hypertension uh, if we have to compare uh, is not related to pregnancy and have a long history of the disease uh, five years ago for example detected firstly uh, an increase of blood pressure or or just two weeks before conception so only increases blood pressure and no other symptoms of laboratory abnorm abnormalities uh, is uh, considered a gestational hypertension how to treat uh, gestational hypertension we have many drugs that do not affect fetus like hydralazine it is a specific arterial dilator also labetalol it's a non-specific beta blockers because have a alpha 1 also blocking effect nifedipine is a calcium channel blocker it's peripheral vasodilator and methyl dopa it's a central but not as much used Preeclampsia. Uh, we know that preeclampsia is classified by mild and severe. And if we're talking about mild, it's a sustained blood pressure again after 20 weeks. But uh, of gestation and blood pressure is more than 140 systolic and 90 diastolic. But additional symptoms are proteinuria, also uh, hypoproteinemia hyperlipidemia it's a relative hyperlipidemia because of decreasing uh, uh, protein level in the serum also edemas from losing of proteins in urine on the lower limbs uh, and weight gain it's like from edema uh, how it does it cure this preeclampsia so let's imagine that this is uterus uh, this is a placenta attached to uterus and uh, pathologist uh, coming from a uh, vasoconstriction so if you have a patient have a vasoconstriction um, it is a local response initially and after generalize it as it is insufficient uh, blood flow <coughs> and if sorry, and it increase a blood flow by by vasoconstricting and uh, redistribution of, of uh, blood flow what causes uh, vasospas? Uh, so, first one is hormonal. Yes, hormonal, because um, a pregnant woman is like a bomb with uh, hormones. Uh, prostaglandins, deficits, or um, angiotensin increases, thromboxanes, yes, prostacycline defici deficiency. Um, decrease circulating blood level how it can occur like in a diarrhea exercise um, loss of stool exercise transpiration vomiting or even hemorrhage any drugs that can cause vasoconstriction like adrenergics mm, all organ in the body dysfunction like uh, so as I told you if initially occur a, a diffuse initially occur a local vasospasm and after it become generalized 
so I draw here many organs like kidney will suffer because decreased uh, glomerular filtration rate from decreased glomerular blood flow increased increasing a waste retention in the body like uh, uh, usually in a pregnancy uh, women lose all the wastes because of increased glomerular filtration and you can see uh, blood urea nitrogen and creatinine uh, decreased so liver also suffer because uh, of ischemia liver enzymes like uh, alanine and um, aspartate uh, transferases will be increased so brain also suffer from vasoconstriction and a bad headache heart is saved why because of SIO uh, it's a saving effect how we treat uh, preeclampsia so definitive treatment is delivery uh, uh, many teaching uh, lecturer says that uh, no no tissue no issue or, or a bad tissue if is um, excluded from the body and uh, problem disappear it's uh, real because if delivery or cure and uh, explosion of placenta no more issues sir if before 36 year 60 uh, 36 weeks of gestation just hospital and watching for possible complication if after 36 weeks uh, delivery is indicated so in hospitals are used of oxytocin like 10 units uh, dissolve it in a in a solution like a sal saline normal saline solution and very slowly infusing magnesium uh, is given for preventing uh, surgeries, a uh, possible surgeries. Um, so, if the blood pressure is around the level of systolic 140, there is no reason for decreasing it because it may worse the symptoms by increasing the deficit of blood coming to the placenta. So, at uh, this uh, 114 millimeter bar mercury a blood come to the placenta and if blood pressure decreases uh, less blood will, will come to this place so a second uh, type of uh, preeclampsia is severe yes it's more severe and i'll show you many of the special symptoms so blood pressure is not more than 140 by more than 160 here is it also protein urea, hypoproteinemia, hyperlipidemia, it's relative one, and hemoconcentration, edemas of the lower limbs from both uh, causes like increased circulating uh, blood uh, volume and from uh, increased uh, gravity pressure on legs. Also evidence of maternal uh, jeopardy like headache, epigastric pain, vomiting, visual changes and any GI tract symptoms. So memorize uh, many of the headache, epigastric pain and visual changes, vomiting. It is very important to distinguish from a uh, mild uh, preeclampsia. Also you can see uh, on the lab test uh, thrombocytopenia, elevated liver enzymes, uh, pulmonary edema, oliguria and uh, oliguria and uh, cyanosis treatment also a single and most effective treatment is delivery if placenta is exposed no tissues that uh, creating problems so two goals here are like uh, prevent surgeries with magnesium and control of blood pressure with uh, hydralazine or uh, or labetal labetal is, uh, is a lovely drug because have uh, less side effects, hydrazine will be no is associated with um, uh, with systemic lupus erythematosus, a, a drug induced one. Also we give IV oxytocin, uh, usually 10 units, very slowly, that is dissolved in a, in a normal saline uh, solution. And eclampsia, so eclampsia it's a preeclampsia plus surgery but more severe vasoconstriction especially in the brain 
especially in the brain. Uh, it is a calcitic cursedrus. Blood vessels are constricted very rapidly, cursedin, and lead to stage of poor cerebral perfusion. What is the treatment of uh, of eclampsia? Attention is addressed to sageries. So look at sageries. Magnesium. Magnesium also have a hypotensive effect. It's very good. It's like uh, catching to rabbits, uh, decreasing uh, threshold of um, sageries and treating hypertension. We are giving like uh, five grams to stop sageries. Uh, so uh, I uh, wrote here a calculation. For example, if uh, one ampoule of uh, uh, magnesium is by 25% uh, uh, concentration, and um, uh, if we calculating like one milliliter, it will be um, 250 milligrams. One one gram is uh, equal with four milliliters. So for giving uh, five grams, we have to give in a bolus at 20 milliliters of uh, magnesium by 25% uh, percent concentration and continuous infusion after with a uh, rate of 2 gram per hour many sources give uh, 1 gram per hour but it is uh, it's for discussion okay and uh, help syndrome help syndrome as defined by uh, big letters first one it's like hemolysis elevated liver enzymes and low platelets complications of help syndrome most of them are related to coagulation so dic abruption placenta abruption placenta fetal demise ascites and hepatic rupture dic is associated DIC occur in normal patient. If patient is pregnant, it is called HELP syndrome. Abrupt placenta also causes acute hemorrhage and consuming of uh, coagulation factors and thrombocytes. Uh, fetal demise uh, also uh, eliminate thromboplastin and ascites uh, uh, is from a uh, deficiency is like uh, cirrhosis and deficiency of uh, anti-thrombin 3 and many coagulation factors uh, and hepatic or rupture it's like a, a liver um, failure so thank you for following me hope you enjoy my video subscribe if it's right and uh, see you soon